Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is your friendly chart nerd, Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, coming to you with a morning market preparation video for April 4th, 2019. So today we face kind of an interesting morning. Um, last night there was a, a news announcement that, or a news report that the president will be meeting at 4.30 p.m. Eastern today with the vice premier from China. Now, the speculation is that there might be a uh, an agreement to announce, um, and that may be the case um, for this afternoon. Now, the question is, uh, there's no details on this. We don't know if there's actually going to be a deal or if there's not going to be a deal if an announcement is going to be made or not be made. Um, so um, consequently, what happened last night is futures were uh, were positive on that news um, initially and, and then just kind of uh, faded. Uh, Asian markets were um, very tepid, uh, to say the least, uh, pretty much flat overnight and mixed. Um, European markets are mixed. Now they've got an extra problem in there. Um, it's expected that um, Italy is going to um, reduce its GDP number for 2019. So um, that's affecting uh, Europe a little bit this morning as well. And then um, U.S. futures this morning are essentially flat, kind of taking a wait and see approach trying to decide um, what's going to happen here um, in the next um, you know 10 hours or so so um, let's take a look at the markets and and take a look at what we've got going on here right now the way I see the Dow is we are stuck underneath this resistance and resistance and we happen to be holding above this support so as of right now we are in a consolidation right here in this range we're waiting waiting for something and um, obviously if we do get some kind of a news announcement that a china deal is made uh, well your guess is as good as mine as to what happens after that will this be a an event that moves the market sharply higher um, i think a lot of people believe that um, could be the case or is this one of those events that once the news finally comes out, it's a sell the news event? You know, we bought the rumor, now um, uh, the possibility of selling the news event. The problem with that is we don't know, and there's no way to really guess how the market's going to react to this. And that leaves uh, us as traders as kind of in a bit of a quandary as to what to do today and how much risk we want to carry forward into Friday. Um, we know that there could be a massive reaction in the futures uh, tonight after, if, if a deal is announced. Also, if a deal happens to not be announced, there could be a massive reaction in the futures. So um, who knows um, what, what the next day uh, will bring, but certainly uncertainty today. And uh, my my thinking is I want to approach the market a little bit cautiously. Um, I doubt that I will be adding any positions today. and I think that's highly unlikely. And I may even be taking some profits to reduce my risk uh, based on what could happen. So I have to think about that pretty carefully today. And I'll keep a pretty close eye on the price action of the market. Now, one thing I will point out is futures were at one point last night up about 60 points. So it's not uncommon for um, the daily price action to test the overnight lows. So it's possible we could see the market rally up about 60 points sometime during the day um, just to test those overnight highs. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, markets around the world have pretty much been very, very subdued as we wait uh, for uh, this possible outcome or a possible outcome um, on the market. Let's take a look at the SPY here real quick. SPY, SPY really hanging in there pretty well. It, it pulled back a little bit yesterday. You can see as we gapped up through here. 
and we ended up kind of just parking right there. We, we tried to uh, dip back down and it's going to be really important that we don't see a failure. We don't want to see this fail back below that level. If we fail back below that le level and then happen to slip into this gap, it could um, signal some ugliness here for the market. So hopefully we hold right there above that level and kind of just stay parked there today as the market waits. So keep an eye on that. Trend, of course, is still up. So we have a, an uptrend. We have a breakout of resistance. Now we just have to make sure that can hold. And how the market reacts to potential news of a trade deal, I honestly couldn't tell you. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ looking good, breaking through that resistance and really giving us an opportunity for a test of record highs here in the NASDAQ. But you can see yesterday left behind a little bit of a concerning pattern here. That's a uh, shooting star type pattern, which normally leads to a lower print um, the next day and doesn't necessarily mean we have to close down just a lower print. And so we might expect uh, the cues to just pull back or maybe drift sideways here as well uh, seeing that um, that print like that uh, leaving behind that shooting star we might want to approach the Nasdaq a little bit cautious and, and and please keep in mind that the Nasdaq is very very bullish here we've got great patterns in this chart uh, everything is looking bullish here so any rest or pullback really doesn't hurt this chart at all so um, kind of keep that in mind it may just need to rest a little while to build energy, maybe to push up here and attack these all-time highs. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM is kind of a sad sack here. Um, IWM, although it did move up yesterday, just really couldn't get it in gear and get going. And um, I still see this as a, a downtrend, although that we did pop out of there. We did pop out of that downtrend and um, make an attempt to uh, get moving yesterday, but it really didn't happen. And so I'm a little bit on the fence here. This easily could be just a bear flag uh, waiting for some kind of catalyst to move it lower. So let's keep an eye on IWM. It's a little bit concerning still and one that we're going to have to focus on now. If IWM can hold above this price support, I think we're going to be fine. But if it happens to slip back below that, then I would um, expect at, at a minimum a test of this low and possibility of breaking that low. So let's watch that closely. Now, of course, uh, news events can certainly change that. And if and the market re does get what it wants, if, if it gets a really good uh, trade deal, between U.S. and China, it's possible that we ignore um, all of these support and resistance levels and, and the market just reacts. So we'll have to kind of keep that in mind as, as you plan your risk forward. Let's take a look at uh, the VIX. Now, the VIX brought up just a little bit of concern yesterday, showing that little bit of fear kind of coming into the market. That may grow a little bit today as the market um, waits for some kind of confirmation as to which direction we're going to go. So don't be all that surprised um, if we see uh, the VIX creeping up just a little bit, holding this level of support right in here. I don't think there's anything wrong with this chart and there really won't be anything wrong until we break through this level and even hold it as support. That's where we'll run into some serious trouble and I don't see that happening um, today. Um, in fact, I see the market just kind of languishing, not doing much of anything today. Let's take a look at T21. 22 t21 22 the four week new high new low ratio and you can see we're still parked around this area right in here um, that little bit of pullback that we had at the end of the day yesterday um, in the spy kind of settled it back down so we still have plenty of upside room that we can um, we can take off to the upside and if we do get a good um, a good response to the market to a potential trade deal, then um, we could spike 
up into there pretty easily. Of course, we still have um, lots of opportunity to move down here. So if for some reason this deal disappoints the market or there is no deal and the market is disappointed, we have plenty of room for downside move. Let's take a look at the economic calendar. Our economic calendar today Jobless claims here at 830 this morning as um, every other every Thursday we have those jobless claims. Keep in mind that we have um, Fed speaker here uh, this morning as well and notice that we have a natural gas report not expected to move the market at all. A bunch of bond auctions and announcements, two more Fed speakers and then we have the Fed balance sheet at 430. I don't think anyone's going to be paying attention to this when the president is uh, meeting with uh, the vice premier. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, not much for the market to really act to on the economic calendar. On the earnings calendar, um, we also don't have a whole lot to react to. Um, and the reason is we're finally starting to wind down that first quarter um, earnings, those stragglers continuing to come in. But on the earnings calendar, um, uh, only around 20 companies reporting today. Um, th we do have a few notables, STZ, STZ Constellation Brands, reporting this morning. It looks like they are responding higher. Maybe had a good report here, responding higher this morning. So Constellation Brands may be helping to lift the market a little bit. Might be one to keep an eye on. Um, this is one of those patterns and, and I'll tell you I would own this one already if not for the earnings uh, coming up um, in fact we talked about this chart right in here and right in here as a potential entry into the trade but that doggone earnings report up there uh, kept us from getting into that position um, any rest or pullback in here um, STZ may be something I will be buying so kind of keep an eye on that so with that let's take a look um, oh, first, let me let me just say thank you, everyone, for watching the video, and thank you to, for everyone who supports what we do on this channel. You know, the, the purpose of this channel and what it's always been, if you guys notice, I don't offer anything up here I, as far as um, sale. It, there's... I don't sell anything here. Um, the whole idea of this channel is for traders to help traders. And um, I just want to push out good quality information for those traders that might be struggling and having a tough time kind of getting their feet on the ground and getting going. So if you find this helpful, could you do me a favor? Can you click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook? Click those thumbs up buttons and leave comments. That helps a ton. You can't even imagine how much that helps in getting these algorithms uh, to show these videos to more people and reach more folks. So thank you very much for those of you who take the time to do that. And also, please do me a favor, click that share button if you feel like the video is worthy. Share it on your Facebook feed, share it on your Twitter, um, share it out there uh, to any of your social media areas, share it with friends and family. Uh, that's perfectly acceptable and it's free to use for anyone. Everyone, I want to wish you all an awesome day. And before we move on, let's talk about a few charts that could be setting up and ones you might want to be paying attention to. Take a look at Warehouser. Warehouser, a really nice pattern here. And I mentioned this one yesterday. It tried to move through, just kind of settled back down by the end of the day. I think this still wants to consolidate over to the trend um, but it's worthy of watching really nice pattern here this by the way is a rounded bottom breakout pattern and if you'd like to learn more about the rounded bottom breakout pattern get a hold of us we talk about this pattern all the time and it's one of the most productive patterns profit wise that I've ever traded it just it just produces um, profits um, uh, so regularly 
Um, and it's a great pattern that just keeps repeating um, in stocks all over the market. So take a look at Warehouser. Nice potential setup, one to be watching for. Take a look at MDLZ. I mentioned this one as well yesterday. It tried to move and then just kind of settled back in, moving toward its trend. Um, this is one of those stocks that's a really big. This is a multi-year breakout. And um, moving over toward its trend here could set up a nice potential move remember multi-year breakouts the longer a stock gets held down um, oftentimes the bigger the potential move to the upside so MDLZ could be setting up for a nice move higher we'll have to watch wait and see there's uh, no reason to um, to chase into this or anticipate just wait for the price to move um, on that trade uh, could be a nice position now I've mentioned GoPro couple of times GoPro started to pop out of my um, alert here now GoPro does have a little bit of a challenge um, and no doubt about it in here we have this resistance zone that may uh, make GoPro uh, struggle here just a little bit in moving up but definitely one to pay attention to as it's holding its trend and following that trend uh, very very closely looking good along those lines how about an Nvidia um, right way options um, we have made a, a, a bunch of money on Nvidia um, initial entry coming into here and we I personally closed this trade and then um, re-entered the position yesterday so real nice move yesterday looking good in here now I wouldn't be at all surprised to see Nvidia get a little more consolidation rest or even a pullback here soon kind of keep in mind we have a price resistance right here in Nvidia but we're looking pretty good and if this continues to kind of consolidate across here then we have that opportunity to pop on through even so keep an eye on it I'm gonna have to you, you notice I've got my trend on this chart down here and with that big bump up yesterday I think I've got to move this trend up into here so kind of keep an eye on that chart it's looking really really good and could continue to move higher take a look at Qualcomm Qualcomm consolidating in this, breaking through this resistance area, and it's a fairly substantial resistance area, broke through here and is consolidating that move over to the trend. Qualcomm should be watched for that potential entry um, into a trade. It's looking pretty decently, and we might want to keep an eye on that chart so hey with that everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits and if you are struggling as a trader i want everyone to understand i struggled for years as a trader um nothing special about me um i worked um uh, uh, full-time um, struggled and struggled and struggled for years to kind of get uh, this down to build an account so that I could trade full-time um, let me tell you this um, it's worth the effort to keep pushing forward to keep working toward that goal um, once once it finally starts to click and things start to work out you start making money consistently um, it is a fantastic business to be in so um, continue that effort don't give up on yourself uh, uh, make sure that you're staying focused and um, um, a lot of attention to the detail that uh, we talk about here and other places um, and make sure that you build a plan on trading a lot of folks believe that planning and all of that stuff is boring and and everything it's just like any other business you guys if you don't have a good quality plan if you don't have the discipline to follow that plan it's pretty difficult to make trading work at all as a matter of fact you're likely to lose your money unless you stick with a good quality plan so I want to wish you all the best and I want to encourage everyone to just keep digging keep working because it will eventually pay off with some great dividends everyone take care of yourselves have an awesome awesome day we'll talk to you all bright and early friday morning take care now